heart shape. I, I have like a 16 men's time oh, here. This is gonna be a really long strap. Welcome to season two, episode five of Next Top Upcycler. I'm your host, Angelina of Blueprint DIY, where I teach you how to remake your clothes to be just as unique as you are. But this show is all about you. Upcyclers from all over the world. Season one was epic, but this season is definitely gonna take it up a notch. Nine contestants worldwide have seven days to transform old men's wear pieces into unique garments for themselves. The final garment has to be at least 75% from men's dress wear or men's business wear. Before the start of the competition, the contestants were only able to gather their use men's wear and sketch their ideas. Each week, you'll watch one contestant try to create the best men's wear upcycle, and then you get to vote for your favorite. But this season, we have a twist. Your votes will narrow it down to the top two contestants, and then the winner will be crowned by our YouTube celebrity judges with Wendy, the DIY designer, Jess Dang, and fashion wizardry. And you'll get to see them all together in the season finale right here on Blueprint DIY. I am so honored and so excited. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss it. And definitely check out our show sponsors link in the description box. Because of them, the winner will receive a Flexi Spot Cano Pro Bamboo Standing Desk as part of the prize. Super excited about that. So let's go all the way to the Southern Coast of China in Macau to meet our fifth contestant, Needed. Hi, I'm Needed. I'm from Macau. I'm 38 years old. I'm the next top upcycler. I went to fashion school after I graduated from um, business college in US because I I think I didn't feel enough after college. And I finally, I found myself. I really love it. I actually do craft um, since my childhood. I always see trash could be a treasure. I never want to waste any trash. <laughs> I try to like, give them new life. I start sewing since fashion school. My family members are people around me, especially in Asia. We don't have the sewing class in our high school. Um, no one knows how to sew. Even after I graduate from fashion design, I think I'm still not really good at sewing. Until last couple of years, I, I start doing upcycling. I do my project every day. I keep sewing. I, I keep doing the project because upcycling is all about sewing. It makes me a lot of time to practice sewing now, maybe a little bit better, but I still don't think my sewing skill is good. I always love to do my upcycling work with the denims. Like this one I'm wearing is um, upcycle from two different jeans. See, so yeah, like I, I turn it into a dress. So I really love it. I always have the denims donated from my friends. Actually, I don't need to go to the store. Upcycling is really a new term in Macau. No one really know what is up upcycling. So if I do upcycling, and um, I can tutor them in Cantonese, in Chinese, maybe more people will know how to do. I always know my ultimate goal is not only design clothes. I don't want to only design things, but I want to have a contribution to, to the climate change, uh, to inspire people around me, and to have more people in Macau. They will start doing upcycling. This is my ultimate goal. I, I want on, not only the local designers, fashion designers will do the upcycling, but also like everyone. Everyone can do this. Yes, they can. I love how Nina just wants to inspire everyone to upcycle. So let's go find out what she's going to use for her upcycle. Hi, Nina. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> good, good morning. Good evening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, it's late at night for me, but it's in the daytime for you. I think we're 13 hours apart, which is the furthest I've ever spoken to someone across the world. So I'm super excited. I'm so excited too. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm ready for everything. First, I want to know, what are you oh. going to make? <laughs> what did you decide to make? Okay, I'm going to make a dress, like a one piece dress, something like this. I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm not sure which one works, but uh, I'm going either to this or this, but I will cut the fabric first and put on the dress part. Yeah. Because at the back, I'm going to put some uh, string. I'm going to use this. Okay. So it's like an open back dress. I want to make this, but I, I'm not sure if it's too hard because I'm going to sew it line, the, the line, because I'm going to use the men's tie. I, I have like a 16 men's ties oh. here. Oh, 
I'm yeah, so I'm excited. To, so I, I think of the fabric will be too thin, so I'm going to sew a, a vertical stitch. The effects will look like this. Oh, that is going to be so pretty. Yeah, but I, I don't know if it works. I'm not sure. I need to see. I think I need to go for the other like plan too. I need to uh, yeah, think of the plan too. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Have a plan B yeah. always. What made you want to use ties and how did you come up with the concept for your dress? First of all, I always love making dress for myself. And the second thing is I like the feminine style. Open back is always my, <laughs> my top favorite. <laughs> and um, men's wear is usually uh, for the uh, jacket. But I think of this time, I never do this before. So that's why this time I want to try this one. So you're um, challenging yourself. Yeah, yeah. Try to do something different. Because I want to do really a flowy dress, like a night night dress or going out dress. Yeah. So I think this kind of silky fabric, uh, like rayon style is more flowy, more more um, like, my, like my design. That's awesome. I'm super excited that somebody's using ties. So mm. where did you get your ties from? Oh, uh, uh, the donate, donate from my like five or six male friends. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, some give me 10, some give me one or two pieces. So end up, end up like, I, I actually have 30, but um, I try to pick only the blue and black color. My color theme is blue and gray nice. and black. That's why these are all blue. Did they give them to you before just because, or did they give them to you for the competition? I asked them because, oh, I need to have a, a competition. I need the material and they all very supported. <laughs> so they, so thank you. Shout out to the friends, Nita's friends. Yeah, and thank I, you so much for the tie. What do you want to have done for Wednesday? I hope I can finish this piece by Wednesday because if it doesn't work, I can switch to plan B. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really don't know if it works the first time to play with the tie i think it's gonna work and i think it's gonna be gorgeous i can't wait to see it so i would love to see your sewing space oh you have a janome cool i usually uh i have uh, this desk here and then i have the screen here then i just put it here and uh, listening to some songs with youtube <laughs> yeah because the desk here is too small only to sew I have the tools box here, some things like the thread and uh, everything here I put at the back. Actually, uh, I, I, I don't I don't die at home. <laughs> so that's the, the that table here uh -huh. is work. It's my working station. Oh, okay. I have some shoe boxes that I, I no longer use. I use them as an organizer to put the different fabric inside. The this I, I I when I do upcycling that there are some leftover that I will put it in a uh, different boxes. And these are uh, some more ties that uh, the color not fit. Oh, wow. But this is like a backup <laughs> if, I, if, if it's not enough. So, so you're all set and ready to start working. Yeah. And now it is time for you to start the competition. Yeah. Grab your ties. All right, Nidith, are you ready for the ultimate upcycle challenge? Yeah, I'm ready for the upcycling challenge. On your mark? <laughs> Get set, go! So here I got 16 ties. The colors are all mostly blue and black because it match my design theme. So I'm going to use this to remove it one by one. So I'm going to just cut it off because it's faster. So we get this triangle shape, but later on I see if I cut it to a more um, straight line to adapt onto my dress form. So now I got all the inside cotton and uh, the thread removed. I turn something pieces here, the trash on the floor. The next step is to go to iron them. I'm going here to line them up, try to match them from dark color to blue to light blue and more lighter colors. So later on, I will sew them together. The pieces are sewn together. I'm going to cut this part right here to be a straight line because they are some longer, some shorter. Try to put it in uh, some wider, some narrow, this very long piece. So now it's ready to put on the dress form to try it on the dress form. I also have this color 
we'll see how it works on the dress one. If it's not enough, I'll, I'll sew them together. So it's too long actually. So I think I need to cut, cut them first. So now I just pin it on the dress form to see where do I cut. So I need to find the needle waist part, cut it off here. So I will get more fabric just in case we get too short. Here is the cut mark I made just now. It should have a curve a little bit. I guess I want to create some design just like this. So like a stretchy. Actually, no, 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 stretchy, but it's a little bit. I need to sew it. Vertically. This part too white, but I'm gonna resew it. Otherwise, it will not be even later on. So now it took me about three hours to complete this. So I still have one more line here, and then I I think I am running running out of fabric. This piece here is um for the upper body for the front. It's gonna be an open back, so um, I'm worried about. The bottom of the dress, maybe I will take another two days to complete the, the bottom. Here, because one of the line not even, because the time when I sew it, is, I didn't really make it even to the both sides. So it looks weird, because you can see here, there's a very large gap. I need to get off thread and sew it again. That's the more frustrating part to prepare, because once you sew the wrong length, then you got to do it again. So it takes a lot of time. So see, here now only have this, this half left. I think if I put it on, obviously not enough. So tomorrow I'm going to sew this like the other side. Tomorrow I, I need to take another three hours to finish this part. Then I'll go for the skirt. The thing is now I'm thinking if I do the bottom part, like the top because this part took me eight hours so the front and back in, in the 16 hours of sewing so i'm not sure if it's work it's so white just now so it took me about one hour so i think i will have another 20 minutes to go to finish this part i think it was the time to do this i need to really my the distance of each line otherwise i need to take out the thread and redo it again then it will take even longer time i'll see later if it's still enough otherwise i, I think i need to add more actually the color is beautiful the density more tighter and this too loose so i think i'm gonna this part need to redo again not white enough <laughs> That's why I need to add more fabric. Add this to here. Maybe I need to add this too because I, I think I still need uh, three inches. So now I finished the top. I'm not sure if I should get the bottom sew tomorrow like the top because it really time consuming. I just leave it dark like this for the bottom. It's still pretty. So I will design tomorrow. This didn't cut yet just fold it at the back and for the back style is uh, open if i sew the bottom like the top have a vertical sew line then i'm running out of fabric okay let's call it a day i am so exhausted now i need to go out to buy some craft replenish the supplies it's running out of um, the thread i need to buy some zippers for the dress because tomorrow, the next couple of days, we'll have a Thai bone coming. So um, I really need to catch up the time. So now I pin on the dress form. I'm going to make a gather ruching design. So this actually is the back side. I'm sure should I uh, keep this ripple at the side, but the back will um, be the same as the front. So I'm, I'm gonna pin them one by one and then uh, to sew them together it has to be even so i think that's about it later i need to uh, sew some ruffle at the bottom so it's probably need this half inch for the seam allowance so i think i better uh, pin the ruching on the dress form so i can see the curve i, I try first i'm not sure
This is the back piece. I'm not sure if it's worth because it's look too short if I do the ruching like this. So now I'm gonna try something else. A different way of stitching to do the ruching. I'm not sure if it looks good. The ruching part looks longer than the, the back one is the previous design I was going to do. It seems like the front looks better. Mm. I think I'm going to the front style that will be ruffle attached to the bottom after I finish the front and back. Well, let's cut it a day. So this is the front. I'm pinned on the dress form. I'm going to do high-low. But the back is it's going to be reaching. We will have a ruffle on the side. Later, I will sew them together, see if it's work. The zipper will be at the center back. But for now, it seems okay. It starts to sew now. This piece is becoming more complicated now. I'm preparing for many mistakes. This is the side seam, I need to sew them together. I kind of complete the sewing, like partial. Then I put on the dress form again to see if there's any mistake. So I need to pin on to see where to sew later. And here I'm gonna mark this up because this is the side seam. Now I start to sew the other side of the bottom. The mark I put on here not include the seam allowance. So later when I sew them together, I need to see what is the right correct way. Yeah, I think I start to sew now. If it's wrong later, I will fix it again. So I have removed the thread from the center back because this will be all the opening with the zipper. So I will try it on the dress later. See if the sizing is fits well on me. Now I install the zipper. I'm gonna cut the line here, the corset, especially this part. So I want it like a hot shape rather than straight. So I think hot shape looks better. So it looks good. Then I will um, take it out uh, to try it on. Oh, the detail of that pleating is everything. Everything. But it took hours and hours. I think we need to check in and see how Neve is doing. Hey, hi, Angelina. Hi, Nadeth. How are you? I'm oh, good. I'm good. Oh, I love what I am seeing. Uh, uh, but the skirt, I need to fix it. This is the sleeve. No, I have to remove it first. I actually uh, just put the zipper, but um, when I put on, I, I think some of the feeding for on body, some problem of, of the feeding. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna fix the, the skirt, and I will I install the uh, the string, uh -huh. uh, the lacing at the back. So then, um, but I, I think it it will take some time for the for the bottom. So I'm going to add some ruffle. Okay. I love the draping. It's really <laughs> nice. I, I just invented it because the original design is, is like this. Okay. Yeah, so I, I changed a little bit. <laughs> well, sometimes you just have to go with the flow, go with what yeah, the material yeah. is telling you to do. And oh, I like that so much. And I love the color palette. I got inspired from the uh, jellyfish from the deep ocean. Yes. Uh, uh, that's why I only picked the blue and black color. It's like an ombre. Yeah. Can I see the sleeve again? Uh, the sleeve is, uh, I upcycled it with the skirt. Uh -huh. and I, I no longer dress. So I, I, I put on um, put this with, on the side, on, on the sleeve. Nice. I really like that. How has this process been from the last time I talked to you until now? Uh, actually, the first two days I was so nervous. That's why I keep doing whole day <laughs> because I'm not sure how, how it's going to be look like. Especially I need to prepare from the tie. I need to uh, take out all the thread and uh, the cotton inside. So uh, many process, I to iron them and then I just sew them together, make a very big piece, put it on the dress form and see what fabric should I cut. This 
took really long time because uh, this one I need to sew uh, vertically. It's kind of sh stretchy. Wow. Yeah, it takes a very time consuming, this piece. Yes. Yeah, I can tell. Um, I kind of redo it like twice because um, when I see the space between the gap is too wide and I, I, I try to make it more tighter so it's, it will have a stretchable effect so this this piece really takes a long time to do it whoa i'm glad you brought that close to the camera because i didn't know that it was so intricate but seeing it close up is just like oh my gosh yeah because um when the tie they sewn together it's like a, a palette like many ties different they have a different color different pattern but mm -hmm. i don't want it to be so obvious yeah. that's why i try to Gather them like gather gather the fabric, so I will have this ombre effects. Yeah, I'm, I actually cool. was thinking the bottom uh, looks like this, but uh, I later on uh, I I put it on my skirt here. Uh -huh. I think maybe if you if I have a tummy bigger, then it will like bump out. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> it's really look like bad and uh, look looks good on body. Uh, I mean for the bottom, that's why I change it to this kind of uh, yes. Yes, I like that. The second day, actually, I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to do the next because uh, the bottom, it seems really uh, confusing. I yeah. don't know, should I go this or that and then uh, try? That's why, um, yeah, now it's over because <laughs> I decided to do this style. Okay. Uh, I just need to fix the feeding on myself. Now, what is what is the back of the bodice going to be? The corset is going to be a string back okay blazing yesterday i put a zipper i i'm not really uh familiar with zipper installing <laughs> it takes a it take a while to install the zipper i think i mostly completed the whole thing but uh, i need to fix the little part like the bottom yeah i the, think the you met of... your goal because you said that you pretty much wanted to have it done and you're pretty much done yeah, I, this my goal is to finish by wednesday because usually when i do the dress for myself it takes a long time always for the feeding. Or oh, feeding is always the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, exactly. Those finishing touches are the issue always. So, yeah, yeah. so what do you have left to do? I need yeah. to, uh, yeah. this thing is stretchable. <laughs> I don't know oh, if okay. it hurts. Otherwise, maybe I use the, um, the leftover ties to, to sew, uh, you know, a string for, uh -huh. for the lacing. Yeah, okay. okay. And I need, need to fix the feeding of the bottom. I think that, that would be all. But I think this part, it takes quite a while to do, do the feeding. Feeding always always takes me a long time. <laughs> well, I think you are well on your way. You definitely accomplished your goal. So I'm excited about that. And I think the finishing work, um, you gave yourself a, a good amount of time to do that finishing work. So you're in a good place. And I can't wait to see your final look and I will see you on Saturday. Yeah, thank you. I hope everything is good and I, I will get, get this done. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So this is the top. This is the bustier part. So I want to have an effect of the curve of the bust. That's why when I sold it, the edge of both sides need to go in a little bit. I'm gonna fold it over and see if they the same shape. So I'm safe to keep going. So the top is finished. So I'm going to the bottom. This part will attach to the bottom. That's why uh, I mean the skirt, the bottom part. So I just leave it here. I only do here and here. So I have uh, um, this skirt. So I'm going to upcycle the mesh for the slips. This is gonna be, be my slip. So I'm gonna install a stretchable elastic band. So I'm going to sew here. These are the little strips from at the back of the men's tie. So I left this aside earlier. So now I can use this for or the top, you know, I need I need something because this is a lacing at the back. I need these to attach here so I can let the lacing goes in here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it in half and do two on both sides 
of the Bussier. Well, the bottom part took me a while to fix it. Like for the side seam, it's not really fit well on my body. So now I fix it. Short, but it uh, doesn't matter because I, I will add some ruffle at, for the hem. And um, I think the back looks okay too. Yeah, I'm going to attach the bodies to the center front here and we'll add some ruffle. The mesh is gonna be the long straps for the lacing at the back for the corset. It was gonna be a really long strap. So I turn it over. Let's see if it doesn't work. <laughs> because I want the effects of the same trace with the jellyfish, which is see-through. Uh, transparency. So I want to use it as um, the shoulder strap to the back lacing. So it takes some time. Sleeve and um, and the strap will be the same fabric and same color. It takes time, but it will look good. Yeah, I got it. Finally. Okay, I go to the second strip. Let me put it on and um, see if the strap, the lay is long enough and see the effects. The color pretty much. I have four holes here total. I think I better put on the table to do it. I originally want to use this strap, but um, but later on I found it's not really match the color. That's why I changed to the match, and I like it with the sleeves, same color and same fabric. I'm actually not sure if it's long enough, but um, let me see. Well, here I got the leftover from the previous tie, then I cut off the extra. Now I use it for the hem of the skirt because it's too short here. So I'm gonna add the ruffle at the hem and uh, oh, ruffle is always my, my favorite and my signature of my design. I'm a ruffle lover. Ruffle is a kind of a very uh, romantic detail. So I always love to add those details on my uh, design piece. So actually I'm not sure if it's working but I'll try, I'll try to get out. This bottom part is too messy. Uh, it's the bottom, the skirt. I'm gonna add this ruffle down here. So later I need to sew it first. So I need extra of the fabric. So otherwise it won't be able to attach enough lane to attach on the bottom. So let's try to see. Four hole lacing seems messy when I want to lace them up. So I'm gonna change it to three. And uh, this hole needs to be bigger because I can't really move it. When I want to adjust it on my body, so I need to redo this. And a ruffle here from last night, uh, not enough fabric. I need to add more. So I hope I can finish it today. I'm gonna need to fix it. <laughs> I need to make it work. I fixed the ruffle and attached the top and bottom. Uh, everything fixed. But later on, I will put on again and see the final looks if it really worked. I don't know about you, but I was absolutely glued to the screen, just trying to catch and absorb every little detail of this upcycle. And I cannot wait to see how it looks on Native in three, two, one. Some things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Hi, Nidev. Hi, Angelina. Hi, good morning. Oh, uh, good evening. <laughs> yes, it's very late at night for me. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I, I feel so surprised that I can make this dress. Uh, it's, it fits so well on my body. Oh. Um, my gosh. Love it. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Yeah, because uh, the fix actually 
My estimator is really takes a long time. Yeah, the last two days is due to fixing, and uh, I got so many problems of my dress. Like, like this part, I need to uh, have a stretch ball to attach them. The bottom part, the fitting got so many little errors. I need to fix again and uh, fix over and over again. And and the hem of the ruffle, I don't, I don't get, I didn't get a, uh, enough fabric. It took like four hours to fix the hem. <laughs> because wow. I, yeah, because I'm running out of fabric and uh, my hem is like a high-low. So when I put on, uh, it's, it did have um, different effects and uh, it doesn't really fit well. So it, it got really messy kind of, but finally I, I got it all over then. And uh, also the, the straps here, um, I originally uh, want to use kind of a ribbon or something, but later I, I just dismissed the, that idea because uh, I find that if I, I, I cut some fabric of the sleeves here, it's very luckily uh, the length is good. And there are two straps, uh, originally there are one strap only. And uh, that is uh, three or uh, four holes. But I finally find that it doesn't work because if ball holes is will be so tight when I put it on, I can't do it myself. That's why I changed to three holes. After uh, change to three holes, I need to make it stronger. So I strap that, um, make that the double straps. So it comes out look so good. So many things coming up, issues and uh, trials and errors, but I work them out. So I'm so happy. I feel so accomplishment. Yes, so yes. Happy. Even though I gave you a hard time, you overcame, you kept at it, and you finished it, and it's beautiful. Yeah, this challenge really um, talked me to another level because this week I've been sewing every day. I mean, it's kind of pressure to need to finish it in a, in a deadline because usually I do it really uh, as an interest. I don't have a deadline to for myself. I just do it when I have time. So yeah. it, when I, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it last week, I feel so much, um fulfilling and uh, i i can't even make, imagine i can do this <laughs> yeah it's so amazing i feel so amazed yes yes so glad that i i, I complete this piece and i'm so satisfied of the design and everything and the final look at every, everything i love it so do you feel <laughs> like you're gonna it. take on more challenging projects in the future yeah, yeah i would love to do more um this kind of uh, competition yeah to um if I never do, I will never know my limits or my ability. Yeah. yeah, you came through really. And I'm so glad to be able to see you use ties. I absolutely love the color palette and the way you put them together. I haven't seen that before. And ties are so interesting and they can yeah. they definitely can be very difficult, but you worked with them and you did them justice. So I am loving, <laughs> loving, loving. Oh, just how intricate the mm -hmm. detail was. That is just crazy to me, like crazy to me that that was made all out of ties. And it's just so detailed. It's just a, such an amazing piece. So tell everyone why you should be crowned next top upcycler. I just want to uh, participate and challenge myself and I uh, want to get inspired from people especially when I'm doing the work and uh, all the process, I, I think I'm, I, I grow. I grow up a little bit in this cycle journey. I want to uh, inspire from other people. Wow, that dress is hot. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen something so intricate in a long time, a long time. I am just, I'm in awe. I am in Press. I am impressed. If you want to see Needed move on to the season finale, definitely vote, vote, vote for her. Voting starts on January 15th, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you want to support Next Top Upcycler, I designed some new merch for the channel. Definitely check it out in the merch shelf below. This is one of my favorites because we are upcycling world champ. Yes. I mean, like really all of our contestants deserve one of these because they are absolute champ. And don't forget that you can all participate in the challenge this season. All you have to do is use old menswear or thrifted menswear to upcycle a piece for yourself for the chance to be featured in our season finale. All the details are in the description box below and don't forget to check out our sponsors link in the description box as well. And I'll catch you guys next week at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for another premiere of Next Top Upcycler. All right, bye!